our listeners an overview about how DNA and hormones play such a vital role in determining our lifespan and our overall health? Yeah, sure. Well, a lot of times people look at the idea of longevity, Stacy, by thinking it's just living longer. But for us, I don't look at it like that. I look at it as not living longer, but living better. In other words, I want to increase the health span and decrease the sick span. And I don't think that's a far reach today because I think our expectation level needs to change. Part of that journey is understanding our genetics. And a lot of times when we look at genetics, there are certain genes that are associated with different metrics and longevity. Now, having said that, a lot of people just resign themselves on one side of the coin to say, well, I have a set of bad genes, therefore I don't have longevity genes, therefore I'm not going to live any longer. And then there's people that have some really good, I would say, beneficial genes. Mm -hmm. But regardless of what side you sit in on that, genes don't determine your destiny. You do. And if yeah. you'll get your mindset right and get your heart set right and get your eyes set right on the right goals, you can actually understand that the genes respond to the environment. And mm -hmm. what we do with our environment sets the tone for how the genes respond. In other words, how much sleep we get, how much exercise we get, how well we eat, how we handle this thing called stress, hormones, peptides, supplementation, all these things affect what our genes do. 